Alright guys, so welcome back here. What we're going to do is a live session now. Um, I've got Discord open on the side here with Shine from Aussie Addicts. And we're going to do a bit of a live session today on Heva Ho and um, what Phoenix is going to be doing. So this is Shine Eternal's Town Hall 9 account. And um, we're just going to do a case uh, attack on Heva Ho and, and how he's going to hit this base. So um, yeah, Shine, what's going on? Oh, it's all going good, mate. So, yeah, we were looking at um, throwing out the Heaver Ho on um, number seven. So what's your uh, so what's your aim on seven? Normally you would do a queen walk. You'd then separate possibly the king and the valk. So where are you aiming to walk your queen? Um, I was looking at bringing in the queen walk at the spell factory. So And then have her walk down... The, that side, down the... So counterclockwise? Nine o'clock down to six o'clock. So, so nine o'clock down to six. I was going to have her walk and break in near the wizard tower. Yeah, so what are you okay. using to distract that archer tower there? That's going to either shoot wall breakers or what, are you going to use a giant or something like that? Um, well, the first archer tower at Spell Factory should take out. Then, yes, there's that second one. So I was going to throw in my... On the, uh, the camps... Near that archer tower, I was going to throw my baby dragon down. So I was going to throw some of the new stuff in as well. Oh, uh, look at look at you getting all tricky here. That's that's yeah, not a bad down. little idea. Is that baby dragon? So that'll have range on that barracks. That'll tank that archer tower. Also do a lot of damage. Do you know what the radius of that baby dragon is? Like, um, will it be affected by the healers? Um, I have not used them yet, so I'm assuming it won't be affected by the healers. Um, but, but its aim is basically just to um, do a little bit of tank and take out sort of the funnel, to take out the camp and maybe the dark barracks. Yeah, it's a good idea. I like that. So what are you using? Just the three healers for your queen? Uh, I'll be doing four healers on the queen. And so the baby dragon and maybe a wizard will do a funnel for her. So she'll start walking down a wall breaker in uh, the wall section near the wizard. And then she can go in take out that section and draw the CC and we'll kill the CC and basically, and the king, obviously he's there as well and she can, then she can do whatever damage she can do. Yep, so that'll work in there. You'll probably need a poison for your, obviously for your clan castle, you'll get the king at the same time. Um, that ground expo doesn't look like it's going to give you any grief whilst you're fighting the clan castle and the king, so that's nice. And then where's our Valk section going? Um, I've got on the um, side where the queen is, on the 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock wall. Um, I was going to do a golem near that archer tower. Then I've got a couple of wizard, wizards for a funnel. Um, then the belt can break in there. I've got a rage for them. I've got a jump also. So they'll mow through the queen. Um, the base was open before but the replay's gone because of the update, so I'm assuming there are some double bombs on that um, expo. Yeah, they look like they're well, on the so expo. Take those out. Um, yeah, then hopefully the valves will rip through that. Then I've got 10 hogs to do the, the opposite side walls. So there's a cannon and wizard tower. And how many, um, how many healers are we using for our valves? Have you got just the two healers for those then? Got a heal, I've got no healers from my bouts. Do I? Would you like me to have some heal, healers from my bouts as well? <laughs> That's a heave ho. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I guess it sounds like you're planning just a uh, queen walk. Um, go over ho, really. That's that's the sounding of it. Oh, hold on, you cut this bit out there. <laughs> um. Oh well, then I'll do yet yeah, two healers on. Really, really, if we're looking at a heave ho, you wouldn't use a golem, and instead of that golem, you'd be placing in two, you'd be placing in the two healers for your Valks, and you, you're going to hit into that air defense at, um, what's that, four o'clock, you're going to hit into that early with your Valks, that's going to die, uh, the queen yeah. may then pull your um, Valks, but you need that jump, and if you put that jump between those two wizard towers at three o'clock there, then that's... Yeah, that's what it that, I'm doing it. That's going to be pushing your Valks into that secondary air defense, and that's going to get rid of those. So that's going to obviously help protect your um, 
your healers. So you could probably use your king early if you use him on the two mines just below that arch tower at five o'clock um, to get your funnel going and, and to get your um, herding done on the sides and then you can wall breaker in there. Yeah, I wouldn't be using a golem with that. If, if you're going to be planning on a true heaver hoe, then it's, it's really, it's, it's no golem based. Um, you can't do much of an early herd. You, you probably could use some uh, minions on that um, lab and dark drill at six o'clock. If you get rid of those, that's all you need to be able to then pop out a few Valks to um, open up and open the doors because you've got um, Valks wall breakers in your clan game. castle, haven't you? Well, yeah, I've got Valks in the clan castle. And, um, and wall breakers as well, yeah? I have the baby dragon down the bottom, so I'm hoping she'll, it'll deal with that all that stuff anyway. So, yeah, I can do some Valks, then I'll do a wizard on the camp at um, near three, and then, okay, that's all right, I've accommodated i wouldn't stress too much about too many wizards around that herd for your valks because if you you know instead of two wizards you can put out one valk um so that also simplifies that part of your raid as well but yeah that no that'll definitely work instead of that golem i'd just be going the two healers and making it a, a true heva yeah. ho and what's going to happen is your um your blower is going to be pushing fighting those healers at the start which will actually help accommodate hitting into that air defense so you're not going to struggle with that air defense um but of course having the two healers and yeah if you just jump between those two wizard towers you'll be you'll be laughing yeah that's what that was the plan anyway so i just i got rid of the golem uh, i jammed up two healers and then what else am i going to stick in there Give me that. i hope we're still talking about the uh raid you're doing um <laughs> All right, yep. so that sounds okay. that sounds pretty good. You're going to jump off Discord for this, yeah? Um, yeah, but otherwise I'll be distracted. Oh, I mean, you maybe can leave it on. Who knows? You can hear me swearing. Is that well, I've got <laughs> push to talk on. I don't, look, I don't mind. This is the first time we've done this. It's going to be the first time all of our guys are going to have a bit of a laugh. I'll leave Discord on if you want. You you can jump off. It's up. It's up to you. Um, but yeah, that I mean that sounds like a pretty simple attack. It's I mean it's not like it's a uh, organized war base or anything like that but this is more or less just to show people in real time the planning behind and what we're aiming for so um yeah that sounds good to me how far off are you attacking i i can go now um so do you want to change anything with that um i guess you'll have to cut that last bit off that discord do you want no nah, um, fuck it we'll just leave it all on <laughs> okay then well i'm, I'm ready to Okay, yep. so uh, I'm just having a look at Phoenix's army at the moment, and you can see the Baby Dragon, nine personal Valks, six healers. There's actually three more minions there, so that's four total. Six hogs, some wall breakers, and a couple whizzies. So this is the army he's going to go with. Hivaho using a Baby Dragon. This will be one of the first times that we see it in the raid. Um, he's just ready now. We've just had a bit of a chat, and we're going to get ready to go for the big attack. Okay, so Sean's talking to me on Discord here. He's just pushed attack. Going live. So he's got a couple spectators too. You can actually see that in the new version. So let's see whether he's probably need to get that barrack. Out comes the baby dragon. You see that rage effect. There's no airs units near it. Wants to get those wall breakers while he's got that um, baby dragon tanking. Too late now, so he's going to miss those. Um, but the dragon going nuts down there on DPS. Now wall breakers. Go, go, shine. Wall breakers, wall breakers. Ten units base. A lot of buildings. All right. Just time those wall breakers well. He's going to get that queen in there nicely. So it was the four healers on his queen. Dragon's done a bit. I don't know whether it was worth 10 unit space for that effect, but yeah, it's, it's definitely hurted the queen. It's definitely going to push that queen to where she wants to go. And that's probably wants to prep up a poison. Beautiful. What do we got? Dragon, Loon, Wizzy. Easy. He's going to smash that. He wants to start thinking about his Valks now. At the minute 50 marker. Now he's going to start pushing into that ground expo soon. Once his clan castle out. There we go. 
there's his clan cast. That's why he wants his clan cast out for those wall breakers. Good use on those healers because you've got to get them down timed well. If you don't time them well, then um, those Valks run off like they are or get stuck on a king like they are. So unfortunately, go, go Valks. There we go, there we go. They're picking them up now. Beautiful. So you see that damage there. They do get that second air defense down. Both healers are still alive. The queen's still pew pewing away. He has absolutely smashed it. Tail end hogs. He can start with a whizzy now. Don't forget your whizzy shine. At, yeah, beautiful. And you can see, um, you can see there, there's Valks alive, healers. Hogs tripped that double bomb at the queen. She's picking up that um, expo. He's got extra minions out for DPS. It's still Valks. Jimmy Bob's still on full health. That is a perfect raid. Well, not perfect, but hey, it's a live raid. We didn't get to completely see the uh, replays as they got cleared last night. Queen finishing off there. Can't push fast forward. Right, so that's the big heaver ho. Um, we've been using this for quite a while. Someone did mention to me we should be chucking this out on um, YouTube and um, getting it out so people see it because there's not a lot of these kinds of replays but I think this is one of the strongest armies at the moment it was before the the patch I think it's still going to be um, you're going to be able to modify and throw in some bowlers all kinds of things well done shine uh, slash phoenix um, yeah I got, I got you on live uh, that, that's really good man how, how do you think you went oh it was, it was a bit all over the place but it got three star um, I, haven't, I haven't done many of them, so um, it went all right. Um, it looks like I ran out of units a bit at the end, so probably, probably some bouts.